Hello everyone. In this presentation, we want to shed some light on use of dielectrics in capacitors. As we all know, capacitors are mainly used to kick start some electrical devices. And our aim is to achieve maximum capacitance at minimum cost and complexity of designs. Here, we will try to explain how dielectric material is better in comparison with vacuum for increasing capacitance and how charge storage happen in dielectric material and factors affecting dielectric constant and some methods to improve capacitance. Dielectrics those insulators which have the property of polarization known as dielectrics. Dielectrics materials is a poor conductor of electricity but an efficient support of electrical electrostatic field. A dielectric is an electrical insulator that can be polarized by an applied electric field. If we place dielectric between the plate of capacitor, it increases the capacity of capacitor. Dielectric separation of charges represent energy store. If separation of charges is very large, then it has higher capacity of energy storage. The factor by which the electrostatic field between the charges decreases relative to the vacuum known as dielectric constant. This decrease. Now let's see how dielectric material stores energy. It's mainly by alignment of dipoles with external electric field. As we know energy stored is given by U is equal to dot product of dipole moment with electric field. By this we can say higher the dipole moment higher the energy is stored. In types of polarization, the electronic polarization, the center of negative charge clouds shifts according to the electric field. In atomic polarization, the atoms shift in electric field according to their electronegativity. In ionic type, the shifting of ions in an ionic bond causes very high dielectric constants. Now let's talk about factors affecting dielectric constant. One is fabrication effect. That's because dielectric constant of crystalline material is greater than that of amorphous material. The second is operational effect like temperature, frequency, biasing, etc. For example, if we increase frequency to a very high value, the dipoles will change their direction quite frequently. This will reduce the dipole moment, in turn reducing the dielectric constant. And the other effect is discharge fatigue. This means as the capacitor gets old, the capacitance will reduce. Here now we understand the how to improve the capacitance variation in dielectric. To increase the capacitance variation in dielectric, we consider a constant K which is known as dielectric constant. Dielectric constant is a measure of material ability to store the electrical energy in an electric field by selecting a dielectric material with a higher dielectric constant then we can increase the overall capacitance variation here second point is that the thickness of dielectric layer also plays a significant role in determining the capacitance variation if we increase the thickness of dielectric then we can get larger capacitance variation and the third point is that the different type of dielectric materials have varying properties that affect the capacitance variation some material like ferroelectric material or piezoelectric material by selecting this special type of material we can achieve a higher capacitance variation.